Shalom. Call hello la Yahweh by Shema Rashad, which means all praises to Yahweh, which is the true name of the Heavenly Father, who you people in the world are going to call God by Hashem in the name of Yahweh Shah, which is the name of the only begotten Son, who you people in the world are going to call Jesus Christ. Once again, the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Yahweh by Hashem Shah. Shalom also to the brothers, you Akim, that's pushing and spreading His word throughout the four corners of the earth, who's also uplifting the names Yahweh or Yahweh Shah. Shalom to you, Akim. Shalom also to the Israelite foreigners, the speckled bird, man, woman, the child, whose bloodline traces back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, our forefathers, though you may look like the heathen nations and scattered monks, which the heathen nations are the nations that you see on this chart right here, starting from 2 1 down. Those are the heathen nations. Also, if your bloodline, your lineage goes back to these people, as you see right here on this chart right here, through the man. And if your spirit be witness with, to this word, to this truth, and you can receive it to the spe uh, speckled bird, man, woman, and child, if this does apply to you, you are Israelites, though you do look like the heathen nations you scattered amongst once again due to the scattering of these people in this chart. So you will have Israelites come looking like the heathen, but they're indeed Israelites because they're under the curses of Deuteronomy 28, the 15th verse on down. The spirit bear witness with this word, this truth, that they are the sons and daughters of Yahweh by Hashem most importantly, their lineage goes back to these people through the man. No matter what they come looking like, if their father's an Israelite, then that makes them an Israelite as well. To the few Aqua, a few fears like sisters that do listen and learn, Shalom to you. To the elect of the nation Israel, or they may be scattered out the four corners of the earth with his words going out to, Shalom to you as well. To so called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, you combine, consist, and make up the 12 tribes of Israel. You are the Hebrew Israelites, the chosen people of the Most High Yahweh and His only begotten Son, who you can be called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah. And, um, this is uh, just, I'm gonna tell you, this is more spewing on uh, Esau's glory, man. Okay? This is going into Planned Parenthood. So. From state to state, America's entire historical narrative seems to be in the process of being reworked. Historical figures that have long been held up with admiration. I actually want to get that scripture, you know what, before I go into the video. Let me just get that. You know. Oops. Alright. I'm going to start with that book of Habakkuk, you know. Or I actually just play. Actually, you know what? Let me get a, a, a scripture. Let me get Obadiah 1. Right? This is Obadiah 1 and 6. My phone kind of froze. It says, How are the things of Esau, which Esau eat them? The descendants of Esau are the so-called Caucasian race in the sea line. So-called white man in the sea line says, how are the things of Esau searched out? How are his hidden things sought up? Okay. And how is all these things, you know, about Esau and his, you know, his craftiness being sought up? It's being sought up through this truth, first and foremost. The truth of Yahweh by Shemel Shah and the internet, man. Okay. This word has uh, exposed Esau to the T. So I'm um, going to the video. Going into this, uh... Edomite, this Shedomite, her name is Margaret Singer. She is the uh, founder of Planned Parenthood, which is basically an abortion clinic. Generation are being castigated. Statues are being removed. Latest to join this list is feminist icon and founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger. She was on the forefront of the fight for birth control and reproductive choice. And, and, and the pause on that, okay? This is supposed to be what a God-fearing nation, right? Why you want birth control? What does this? What did the Heavenly Father command? You know? Then now he say, you know. So let me get one. You know, um. 
Yep, yeah. this is Psalms 127, right? And three, it says, Lo, children are an heritage of the Lord. Yahweh by Shemel Shah, and the fruit of the womb is his reward, man. Okay? And what what else does it say? Didn't it say... Hold on. Right? Didn't he command... So I'm going to get to the point. This is Genesis 1. I started... Uh, phone is freezing. Salakia. Says Genesis 1. I start 14. It says, And Yahweh said, Lo, there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And let them be for lights in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon earth. And it was so. And Yahweh made two great lights, the greater light to rule the day and the lesser light to rule the night. And he made the stars also. And, set, and Yahweh set them in the firmament of the heaven to give light upon earth and to rule over the day and over the night and to divide the light from darkness. And Yahweh saw that it was good. And the evening and the morning were, were the fourth day. And Yahweh said, let the waters bring forth abundantly the moving creature that have, that have life and fowl. That may fly above the earth in the open firmament of heaven. And Yahweh created whale, great whales and every living creature that moveth, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And Yahweh saw that it was good. And Yahweh blessed them, saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the waters in the seas and let the fowls, the fowl multiply in the earth, man. Okay? And that's not only for the animals, but it was for everybody, man, to be fruitful and multiply, man. Okay? And, see, this system, is it, it tells you that, you know, being fruitful and multiply, you know, is, uh, uh, is looked at as evil, man. Especially when it comes to you Israelites, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, man. Okay, because that's what this this devil does not want. He does not want you being fruitful and multiplying. He's all about birth control. He's all about population control. You know that's why you keep hearing about it when it comes to these 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 uh, Edomites, man. Okay, the Lord command that uh, uh, you be fr fruitful and multiply. So what's up with birth control? You know, so let me just keep going. Voice. She established the Birth Control League, which today is known as Planned Parenthood and is one of the top providers of reproductive health care in the United States. Well, now this clinic here in Manhattan is erasing her name. Why? Well, in addition to fighting for women's reproductive rights, Margaret Sanger was an advocate of eugenics. Birth control does not mean contraception indiscriminately practiced. It means the release and cultivation of the better elements in our society and the gradual suppression, elimination, and eventual extinction of defective stocks, those human weeds which threaten the blooming of the finest flowers of American civilization. She had a project pushing contraception. So you heard what she said. And you know, when you're dealing with Esau, these Edomites, they talking cold. When they're talking to each other, they talking cold, man. Who do you think the weeds that she was talking about that need to be rooted out were? You, you Israelites, man. Starting with the tribe of Judah, man. You know? Let me keep going. U.S. South. Here's one particular quote about it that stands out. We don't want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population. And the minister is the man who can straighten out that idea if it ever... So, you see right there, okay? It's called the Negro Project. Okay, look it up. This is what she was all about. This was this, was this whole birth control, you know... This whole birth control project was basically set up for. It was mainly set up for, as you see right there, we do not want the word to go out that we want to exterminate the Negro population, man. You Judites, man. You Southern Kingdom, you know. And the minister is the man who can straighten out the idea if it ever occurs to any of their more rebellious members, okay. And you see them do this to this very day. They use, you know, pastors that look, you know, pastors of your people to basically push, you know, uh, going to these uh, 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 these these Planned Parent, which today is known as Planned Parenthood, man, to go to these abortion clinics, man. This is what this is the whole this was the whole plot behind it, man. Okay, because if you look, where's Planned Parenthood? Where are most abortion clinics 
Okay, locate. It's located wherever you Israelites do all that. You don't really see abortion clinics in their neighborhoods. Okay? Because, see, Esau knew. Real quick. See, this is nothing new. This is just the crafty counsel of the wicked, man. You know? If you go to the book of Exodus, the first chapter. Okay? It goes in the same. They tried the same thing. Uh, back in ancient Egypt, man, Pharaoh did the same thing. A lot of the practices that the these Edomites use, such as witchcraft and all these different uh customs, okay, they got them from the uh, uh the Hamitic people, which you know the so-called Africans today. So I'm not talking about the Israelites that scattered amongst those Hamites. I'm talking about the actual Hamites, the heathen. You know, they get their practices from the from mainly Canaan, man. You know, so. I'm going to start Exodus 1 and 1. It says, Now these are the names of the children of Israel which came into Egypt. Every man in his household came with Jacob, Reuben, Simeon, Levi, Judah, Issachar, Zebulun, Benjamin, Dan, Naphtali, Gad, and Asher. And all the souls that came out of the loins of Jacob were 70 souls, for Joseph was in Egypt already. And Joseph died and all his brethren and all that generation. And the children of Israel were fruitful, and increased abundantly and multiplied and waxed exceedingly mighty, and the land was filled with them, just like you see today, man. If you look up on the, the statistics, you know, on you know how many uh, kids are being born, if you look at the race, who's going to be dominant? It's maybe going to be uh, uh, the southern and the northern kingdom. It's going to be the you uh, Israelites, man, because Esau's population is not is either not moving, it's not it's just going down, man. A lot of the Edomites. A lot of their population is mostly senior citizens, man. Okay? A lot of their kids is on opioids. They're dying more than they could be uh, born. Okay? So they're, they're uh, low in numbers, but they push that you're the minority. Okay? Which, that's a lie. The scriptures say that we be, we're the sand, we are as the sand and sea, man. You can't count every grain of sand and sea. That's how the scriptures compare how many Israelites is on the planet Earth to the point where you have Israelites that look like the heathen, you know? That's how many of us is on the planet Earth. Okay? And the same thing was happening then. And the same thing is happening now. It says, Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Okay? And the same, it's the same, you know, mindset that these Edomites come in. Because if you go into uh, Genesis, the 25th chapter, going into the birth of Jacob and Esau, you know, it said how it, it said how you know one came out red, which was Esau, and how one was stronger than the other. We're stronger, okay, physically, mentally, okay, and spiritually than these Edomites, man. Okay, Jake will be in a uh, you know, for instance, Jake will be you know living in the ghetto. You know, conditions is horrible. You know, they'll be behind on bills, stressed out, not knowing how they're gonna uh, uh, provide. But Jake still will make it through that. If that was Esau, Esau, you know, Esau would jump off a building or a bridge, man. You know, not to be funny, but that's just the facts, man. You know, we dominate the sports. We dominate, you know, the uh, entertainment. You know, we dominate everything, man. Everything we get into, we dominate. This is why he puts laws in place to keep you tribes, okay, oppressed as much as possible, okay? He only gives you enough, okay, to basically maintain his system, okay, which is the Heavenly Father. But this is why they do that, because we're more, more mightier than them, you know? The scriptures say we're the soul of the earth, and they know that, okay? This is why they got to push that you're uh, inferior so hard, you know, on all levels, okay? It says, come and let us deal wisely with them, let, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they fall about any war, they join also onto our enemies and fight against us, and so get them out of the land. You see them trying to do that now with Grandmaster Jay. You know, all these other setups, man. This is what they're doing, you know. Therefore, they did set over them taskmasters to afflict them with their burdens. And they built for Pharaoh, treasure cities, Python, and Ramses. And what does that remind you of today? This is this is modern Egypt right here. This is what America is, modern Egypt, according to Revelations 11 and 8, you know. Did not we build, okay, these same, these cities that you see now? You know, did not we build everything? Okay. It says, but the more they afflicted them, the more they multiplied and grew. And they grieved because of the children of Israel, man. Okay, so they were, you know, they was basically, you know, troubled on how he was growing. And they was doing all they could to keep our numbers down, but it wasn't working. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is dealing with us, man. 
showing you that the Heavenly Father was dealing with us, then he's still dealing with us now, man. Okay? And the Egyptians made the children of Israel to serve with rigor. And they made their lives bitter with hard bondage and mortar and in brick and in all manner of service. And the field, all their service wherein they made them serve was rigor. And the king of Egypt spake to the Hebrew midwives, you know, of which the name of the one was Shifra and the name of the other poor. And he said, when do ye, when ye do office of a midwife to the Hebrew women and see them upon the stools, meaning, you know, if they were pregnant, if it be a son, then ye should kill him. But if it be a daughter, then she shall live. Okay? And why? And that's where they get the whole abortion. This is See, this is where Esau stole that idea from. He got it from this. Okay? Basically, the reason why he wanted the sons, the Hebrew uh, males, to be killed. Okay? Is because the man makes up the nation according to Numbers uh, 1 and 18. Okay? And they knew that. You know? So they wanted to uh, do away with our seed line, basically, and have our woman. But if you look what uh, uh, this Israelite woman did, was you know, she's a righteous woman for doing what she did. You know, let me go down. It says, and he said when he, no, I read that. It says, but the midwives feared Yahweh and did not as the king of Egypt commanded them, but saved the men, children alive, man. So they didn't listen to uh, Pharaoh. When he told them to do that, man, because they feared the Heavenly Father, man, you know. And the Heavenly Father actually came through, you know, as she's going to say it. It says, and the king of Egypt called for the midwives and said unto him, why have you done, done this thing and have saved the men, children, alive? And the midwives said unto Pharaoh, because the Hebrew women are not as the Egyptian women, proving that we aren't the same as we're not Africans, man. Okay, it's a difference between us and it's a dif difference between them Hamites, man. They're Ham and we're Shem. Okay? It says, For they are lively and are delivered ere the midwives come in unto them. Therefore, Yahweh dealt with the midwives and the people multiply and wax very mighty, man. So the Heavenly Father basically blessed those women and he was with our people even after the king did that, man. Because he was trying to be crafty, man. Same thing you devil's doing now. Okay? If you go back in the time of uh, Herod, you know, the Edomite, what did he do? When he heard Yahawashah uh, uh, was uh, uh, was born, he tried to have Yahawashah killed. So what did, he put a decree out there that any uh, Israelite, Israelite two and under put him to death. Okay? These are the same people. You know? You're dealing with these, these uh, same people, man. Okay? Let me just go down, go into a little bit more. Never a curse to any of their more rebellious members. Now that sounds pretty awful. Her supporters might argue she was simply emphasizing that she actually wanted to protect African American lives. That's and a lot, man. to be fair, later on, Dr. Martin Luther King did actually praise her for her contributions to the black community. Martin Luther King was work was basically Esau's plant, you know. He led he led our people. Look at our people now. Off of him wanting to be equal to the Edomites, man. Okay? So let me just let me just keep going. But the racist statement stands out, and Planned Parenthood is now making amends. There are talks with New York City about removing Sanger's name from they, a street sign near street these name, offices though. on Bleecker Street. Planned Parenthood was founded by a racist white woman. That is a part of history that cannot be changed. Accusations of racism, sexism, and other isms are so widespread in America these days, many people are starting to take them with a lot less weight. Furthermore, it's doubtful that canceling Margaret Sanger will result in critics of Planned Parenthood dropping this long-standing allegation. If any so I didn't even know they had a street name like this woman, man. This showing you how, how this man, okay, he takes pride in uh, destroying you Israelites, man. This man is not your friend. I don't care if they smile on your face. You know, I don't care if they, they shake your hand or give you a nice a promotion. That it, it don't matter, man. These people hate us, man. Okay? These people, their so-called forefathers, their so-called ancestors, as they like to call them, they, uh, they hated our people. And they still hate our people, you know? They set up statues, had streets named after them. Look at that, man. Okay? So let me get another scripture. You know? Let 
these people hate you, man. For you to uh, basically, you know, want to murder a, a people and then try to, uh, uh, you know, you try to justify it, then you just turn around, set up, you know, memorials about that, you know? This is Wisdom of Solomon, I believe it's the fifth chapter. Nah, not the fifth chapter. This is uh, Wisdom Solomon 12 and 1. It says, For dying incorruptible spirits in all things. Let me see. Therefore chastise them, thou chasteneth, chasteneth them, thou them by the little and little that offend, and warnest them by putting them in remembrance when they have offended. They they leaving their wickedness, they wickedness they may believe on thee, O Lord. For it was thy will to destroy. For it was thy will to destroy by the hands of our fathers, both the, those of old, those old inhabitants of thy holy land, whom thou hatest for doing most odious works of witchcraft and wicked sacrifices. And this is what this man practiced to this day, man. Okay, everybody's uh, hearing about the. Uh, you know the um how these elites and these people is higher up in this system. You know they uh, uh torture kids. You know, and the, they'll, they'll torture them. And as they're torturing them, you know the kid he's in pain and you know screaming and shit. They got something called adrenochrome. And they'll suck that out of them and drink that, drink the blood, man. Okay, cause they get like a certain you know high or whatever off it, man. Okay, this is what these people do. This man is a, ma a, 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 a master witch, man. Okay? And also those merciless murderers of children. Because that's all this man is, man. Even before uh, uh, the Planned Parenthood, when, when they had you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans down south in the fields and elsewhere, what were they doing, man? With the kids, man. They was raping the kids, you know? They were, uh, You have a, he uh, a Israelite woman, she would be pregnant. They would hang her upside down, and they would cut the baby out of her stomach, man, and stomp on the baby, man, while she was upside down, man. Okay? You hear me say this plenty of times. Alligator bait. Okay? It's, it's so much stuff that they've done that they tried to sweep on the rug, man. Okay? These are murderer of children, man. You got, in this society, you got, what, 800,000 800, children that go missing a year? Who you think is behind that, man? Okay, these same people that you see uh, stand on the, uh, these stools talking, talking this talk about how they're going to fix this and that, man. And the people above them, man, that's controlling them. They're behind that. Okay, why don't they never uh, argue about, they talking about taking, you know, the name down. Why don't you just get rid of Planned Parenthood, period, man? If it's, if it's you know, aimed towards, you know, our people, basically our women. You know, killing our, uh, 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 killing their seed. Why don't you just get rid of Planned Parenthood anyway? It's murder, you know. But they're not gonna do that. Why? Because they want you to do that. They want you to destroy yourselves, man. And devourers of man's flesh and feast of blood, man. Okay. With their priests out of the midst of their idolatrous crew and the parents that killed with their own hands, souls destitute of help, man. This is what this man is, man. Okay. Let me get a uh, scripture real quick. Let me get that Habakkuk. See, you you been exposed now, okay? We in the time now where all this got to come out and all of this going to be brought out, man. Don't matter if you like it or not, you know? This is, uh... I'm just get to the point for time's sake. I start as Habakkuk 2 and 14 says, For the earth shall be filled with the knowledge of the glory of the Lord Yahweh by Shema Shai, as the waters cover the sea. And that's what's happening. This is why all this is coming out on them, because the spirit of Yahweh by Shema Shai is on the planet Earth. Okay? This word is going on. This word, like it says in the book of, I believe it's second Ezra, the seventh or the sixth chapter, you know, how the truth shall spring and corruption shall the corruption and deceit shall be quenched, man. And that's what's happening. This deceit is being quenched. Because you've we're able, you know, through your witchcraft to promote that all these things that you've done and set up is okay. You know, it's for a reason. It's for a cause. And this word is exposing that. No, you're just being a double, okay? Okay? And you're, uh, 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 you, okay, at the end of the day, you hate 
the so-called Negro, Latino, and Native American. You hate the tribes, man. Okay, because we're Israelites and you're Esau. We have the birthright, the blessing. You don't, and you're mad about that. Okay? So you're trying to destroy our people. Okay? This is the 15th verse. Let me get this. It says, Woe unto him that giveth his neighbor drink, that putteth thy bowel to him and makest him drunk also, that thou mayest look on their nakedness. Because you set these clinics up mainly wherever the Israelites dwell at, man. You don't really set them up in your uh, communities. You set them up in our communities. Okay? Then you try uh you push... This narrative in this society that, you know, a woman, okay, at the age of 17 and younger, which, according to the scriptures, once they hit their uh, 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 their, uh, their blood, their period, basically, they're now considered a woman. But you push that, that's, uh, uh, you know, it's ir irresponsible, okay? That's bad. Your mother was not a good mother for that. You know, you push that, you know, you can't be successful because of that. That's what you push in society. So what a lot of our women do, they go and get abortions, man. Okay, because of because of what this world, uh, 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 the narrative that this world pushed, man. So that's you basically giving uh, our people that uh, uh, that uh, bow for us to drink, man. Uh, for your philosophies, man. You know. Guess what? Thou art filled with shame for glory. Thou drink also, and let thy force can be uncovered. This cup of the Lord's right hand shall be turned onto thee, and shameful spewing shall be on thy glory. And this is what's happening. Shameful spewing is on all your statues, okay, these different streets that you name after these uh these psychopathic, you know, murders, okay? Everything about you, even my whole history is being is shame being spewed on it, man. Okay? This is why a lot of you are trying to cop a plea, a lot of you are trying to play like you. You friends with Jake all of a sudden? Nah, man. It ain't going down like that, you know? But guess what? Just as you you try to, you know, you did as you, you know, same thing's going to happen to you, man. Okay? Let me get a scripture real quick because I got to end it. Just as you try to destroy our children, our nation, but especially our children, guess what? This is uh, Galatians 6 and 7. Be not deceived. Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And what does the scripture say we're going to do with your children? This is Psalms 137. This is in the scriptures, by the way, right? In, thir in 7. Remember, O Lord, Yahweh Bashim Shah, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, showing you this is Babylon. That you're ruling over Babylon the Great, who ought to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that's, that reward of thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones, man. Just how you treated our kids, you know. Turn them into homosexuals. If you watch that good that movie, Good by Uncle Tom, you know. Feeding them the alligators, you know. Cutting them out of mom's womb, you know. Just all these things. Planned Parenthood, you know, they saying that the... The worst place for an African American is in the womb, man. Thanks to you. Okay, so just as you try to hunt our children, okay, the scripture says it right here. Your children will be dashed against the stone, man. Okay? Because you was also doing that with the uh, Northern Kingdom uh, women, you know, children. You was da literally dashing, okay, the babies against the stone. So that's going to come back on you twofold, man. Okay? So call her Lord, like Yahweh, by Shema Shah, Yahweh, right to this was edifying. Baba Gashah, Baba Ball, Baba Ball, Abah Ha Yabi, Abah Ha Yabi, Shalom to the elect, and Shalom to the uh, few Israelite sisters that do listen, learn, and believe. Shalom.